Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can enable Facebook authentication or Facebook login for your guest clients on Unify controller. First of all, I would also like to inform you that your controller should be on a public domain. For example, I have my controller on on an AWS cloud, so it is you can access it from anywhere. So make sure that you have it hosted on a public domain so that it can reach Facebook and authenticate your clients. So let's get started and let me show you how you can configure the Facebook login for your guest portal. First of all, you need to go to the website that is developers.facebook.com slash docs slash apps slash register. I will leave a link in the description below so that you all can access it, access it easily. Once you go to this website, you need to click on the guest, Get Started button, which is on the right. Once you click on it, you will get a window which will ask you to enter the password for your Facebook account. So you just need to put in your password and click on Submit. Then you will get another pop-up which will ask you to accept the policy of Facebook. So you just need to click on Yes and then click on next and then it will ask you to verify your phone number which is necessary so you will have to put your phone number and verify it so let me do that and I will let you know what to do next once you put the phone number and put the code which you receive from Facebook you just need to click on register Once you click on register, you will get another pop-up which will ask you to create app ID. So please click on create app ID and it will give you another pop-up which will ask you to dis uh, give a display name for your app. So you can give any name you want to keep for your app. As of now, I'm going to give Unify Wi-Fi wi and then I will click on create app ID and also you will have to put your contact email in this field in the box below and then click on create app ID once you click on create app ID you will get a captcha screen so put the captcha and verify it and then click on submit once you click on submit you uh, submit you will get this page you will need to click on get started on Facebook login. Once you click on get started, you will get this page. You will have to leave everything as default and you will have to specify the domain URL over here. So for example, I'm going to specify this. You have to type this and also make sure that you change the HTTPS to HTTP Then at the end of the link put colon 8880 then hit tab and again paste the same thing and leave the HTTPS as it is and put colon 8843 and then click on save and also make sure to enable this option login from devices select yes and click on save changes once you click on save changes you need to go to the settings on left hand side and scroll down to the bottom and click on add platform once you click on pla add platform click on website and you will need to put your domain address domain website in that field so I will copy this so I'll copy my website and paste it over here and then I'll click on save changes once you click on save changes, you will also need to make sure that you have to put the app domains that will be the same website which you pasted below in the site URL 
field once you do that hit save changes again and then you'll have to give a namespace so that your guest can see this name when they connect so you can give any name you want for now I'm gonna give anything for demonstration purposes and click on save changes once all this is done you need to click on app review and make sure to enable this button for make unify Wi-Fi public if this is not enabled the Facebook authentication will not work so make sure to select yes and choose the category as communication and click on confirm once this is done you need to open your unify controller and then go to settings then go to wireless networks create the guest SSID let me create a new one so you can give any name to your guest SSID and make sure to enable apply guest policy and click on save then go to guest control tab and make sure to enable guest portal box once you enable it check the option which says hotspot and then you can choose from redirect to original URL or promotional URL depending on your require requirement and also make sure that these two boxes are checked redirect using hostname and enable HTTPS redirection and then copy the domain subdomain URL which you have into the redirect using hostname field once that is done go to portal cost customization and select angular JS and also select overwrite template with custom changes then you can give any name you want for the portal and also you can enable welcome text and terms of services as of now I'm not going to enable it because I'm doing this just for demonstration purposes and you can also choose custom logo you can also choose background image as of now I'm going to leave it as it is and at the bottom you'll have to make sure to enable voucher based authorization and also enable Facebook based authorization once you enable this go down below and first make sure to paste the app ID and app secret in this field so to get this you need to go back to your Facebook page and you will have to go to dashboard on the left and copy this app ID which you see here once you copy this app ID paste it in the guest portal and also copy the app secret click on show so that it can show you the code and then copy the code and paste it in the app secret field once you do that make sure to allow all these public IPs of Facebook into the access control field in pre-authorization access this is very important if this is not done then the authorization might not work this is applicable so that it can reach the Facebook and authenticate the client once you have uh, the settings done make sure to verify each and everything so that you do not miss any steps and then once you verify it click on apply changes once you apply changes it will save the changes and the AP will start to provision and it may say connected after some time and then let me show you how you can connect to the Facebook authentication on your 
cell phone let me use my cell phone to check if this works as you can see that I'm currently connected to my routers Wi-Fi which is D-Link so let me connect to the guest SSID and check if I get the pop-up for Facebook authentication so yes I'm getting the pop-up for Facebook authentication so as you can see that I have a voucher I can put a voucher code or the show I can click on social login to authorize myself so you just need to click on the Facebook option and you your client will be authorized that is all for now if you have any questions please leave a comment below and thanks for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos like this God bless you all